Now, this ductwork is insulated, but it's not sealed. People see this insulation and say, oh, my ducts are sealed perfectly. Well, I've seen it so bad that when you turn on the furnace, all of a sudden, the insulation blows up like that, which means the air is coming right out. Right. And it's a big deal in this country. You can lose as much as 20 to 30 percent of duct losses where it doesn't actually get up to the place you want to be. Wow. You're losing it to the attic, you're losing it to outside, you're losing it to the basement. So what I actually want to do is do something new. I want to show a technology where we can seal every bit of this ductwork perfectly from the inside. Sounds great. All right. So in order to seal the ducts, we need to do it as an aerosol. So we're going to use this sealant. We use the same fan that we used for yep. the pretest. Yep. We have a nozzle that injects the liquid into the duct. The small particles that are now in aerosol travels through this flexible duct here to a Y branch. Gotcha. Then it can go to the return and the supply and we seal both at the same time. Right, well, we are done and now I can actually show you just how effective this was. So instead of the hole Look at this. The window screen where the hole was is completely sealed, and that's really the same as all the leaks in your ductwork. That's cool. All right. So, Steve, what's our final numbers? How do we do? Well, if you remember, we started off at 307 yeah. CFM, yeah. which is equivalent to about a 58 square inch hole in the sure. ductwork. Yep. Yeah. So now we're down to 19 <laughs> CFM. 20. Great. And that's only a four inch square hole. Well, this is what gets my attention right here, Mark. A 94% reduction in duct leakage. Does that wow. work for you? Yeah, that's great. I think your whole system is going to work better, too. It's going to be more comfortable, more yeah. energy efficient, and it's going to be cleaner in the ductwork. Well, I like the way that tightens up the system. For the same reasons I mentioned there, it's going to be more efficient, mm -hmm. it's going to be cleaner, but I think as importantly, it's going to be comfortable. The air that you right. heat it or cool gets to the right place. Now think about what the challenge is. With metal ductwork like this, every time we have a longitudinal seam right here, this is not airtight. It's going to leak out through here. Every time we bring two pieces together, it wants to leak. Yeah. The issue is, we're losing 20, 30, 40 percent of the air that should be going into the living space for heating and cooling going to the wrong place. Wow. But you're not really losing it. It's staying in the house. Well, I mean, think about it. Where we end up putting duct work is where nobody really wants to go, <laughs> the basement and the attic. And so that's places where when you lose it, you lose it. Yeah. So something like this is perfect for a retrofit project like you're working on here. I've We've got a lot of them. I've never seen a better solution for fixing the duct work. All right. Well, good information right. and a great project. Thank you. And we've got plenty more of those coming up next time. So until then, I'm Kevin O'Connor. I'm Roger Crutch. I'm Richard Dewey. And I'm Tom Silva. For Ask This Old House. You know?